Hey everyone, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI autocomplete for Python. Whether you already have some development experience or you're still deciding where to start, learning a new programming language is an extremely valuable skill to have. So today we're going to talk about the top five reasons you should learn Python in 2020. Most programmers know several languages. Picking up another language can help you in your current job or in finding your next one. In a few moments, I'm gonna convince you why Python should be at the top of your list. Wait, what's Python? If you're completely new to this space, Python is an extremely popular programming language. In fact, it's the fastest growing language right now. It's frequently used for web development, scripting and automation, machine learning, the internet of things, and so much more. Python has been a go-to choice for world-class companies like Facebook, Google, Spotify, and Netflix, just to name a few. So why are so many programmers choosing Python over languages like Java and C++? Well, let's get into the meat of it. The number one reason is Python simplicity. No one likes working with a confusing and complicated programming language. Even pro programmers appreciate a straightforward language from time to time. Unlike some other languages, Python has a clear and readable syntax that makes it easy for beginners to get started with and for companies to onboard new hires with. Without curly braces, semicolons, and type definitions, Python is easy to write and interpret because it's a bit less cluttered than some other languages. Simply put, writing and interpreting code in Python is intuitive. So let's dive into a quick example. Here, both Python and Java achieve the same task of creating a list of numbers and printing each element on a separate line. Notice, however, that Python does this so much more elegantly and in nearly half the number of characters. Even printing hello world is so much easier. In Java, we must create a class, specify the main function in our program, and use a confluted system.out.println to output two single words onto the screen. In Python, we can just type and pass in hello comma world. It's that easy. This is because Python doesn't require type definitions to assign variables. It uses spaces rather than curly braces, and it doesn't even require the notion of object-oriented programming. So in sum, Python's simplicity allows you to focus less time on debugging syntax and more time on programming and solving that problem at hand. Another great reason to learn Python is its community and resources. Python's global community is vast, both online and offline. A strong community like Python's is extremely advantageous, as a larger community provides an outlet for you to get help from your peers, develop your programming skills, and discover creative new ways to solve interesting problems. And since Python is open source, you'll have access to some of the brightest and most motivated developers out there. To this end, Python hosts meetups, conferences, workshops all throughout the year and in cities all around the world. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, the Python community is eager and enthusiastic to help. With the real Python blog, the Python subreddit, and YouTubers like Tech with Tim, it's easy to plug into Python wherever you are in the world. Check out the links in our description below for more resources. Speaking of resources, I want to take a moment to chat about Kite. Kite is an AI coding assistant, and it works as a free plugin for your code editor. So if you're using Atom, VS Code, Spider, PyCharm, Sublime, or Vim, Kite will seamlessly integrate into your coding workflow. Kite can complete entire lines of code, and it has a feature called Intelligent Snippets that will help you fill in arguments and method calls with variables defined earlier in a script. The window on the right side of my screen here is also a Kite feature called the Kite Copilot. It automatically shows you relevant Python documentation while you type based on where your cursor is. This saves you time from having to Google search for docs. The best part of Kite is that it's free and you can download it from the link in the description below. Number three, extensibility. There's also a wide range of frameworks and libraries built into Python. So getting started with any project is quick and easy. Python's large and robust standard library features modules that add functionality to your code without having to spend time writing them yourself. For example, setting a request to a website is as easy as importing the request module and calling a single function. There's so many other useful modules as well, like the OS module that is used for interacting with the host machine's operating system, or the math module for math-related functions, and the random module that can be used to generate random numbers or values. If you're ever unfamiliar with any part of Python's standard library, you can read informative and helpful documentation on their official website, or you can use the Kite Copilot while you're coding. Python is supported on several platforms as well, including macOS, Windows, and Linux. This portability is extremely convenient since it allows you to move and run code between different operating systems. Number four, multipurpose. You should also learn Python because of just how multipurpose it is. Since there are so many frameworks and libraries built on top of Python, it can be used for basically anything a programming language is capable of. 
Python is a popular choice for creating and hosting a website. It can analyze data really well, run scripts to automate boring tasks, and so much more. One area in particular is DevOps. DevOps is the integration of developers and operations teams to increase productivity and collaboration in a company. This is done by automating workflows and infrastructure and by measuring their performance. DevOps teams often use Python to achieve this because it's efficient to code with. And this is just one example of how Python is used. There are so many applications and uses of Python in business, education, government, and other fields. And lastly, number five, demand for Python developers. Although its competitors aren't going away anytime soon, Python has cemented itself as an immensely popular choice for developers and data scientists. According to Google Trends and the TOB Index, Python had the highest internet traffic of any other language in 2018, and in 2019, Python became the third most popular programming language, rivaling that of Java and C++. Python's creator Guido Van Rossum says he certainly didn't set out to create a language that was intended for mass consumption, but now 30 years later, Python has a rapidly growing user base of developers around the world and across all skill levels. This is good news career-wise as well. Companies are eager to have skilled Python developers join their team. Well, I hope you have a better idea as to why so many people love Python and why you should learn it. Let Python's simplicity, community, and versatility inspire you to master as your next programming language. And don't forget, thousands of job openings call for knowing Python, so you could even make some money at it too. For more on Python, subscribe to our channel now and ring that bell. We love bringing you useful content that helps you code smarter, and we'll have more videos coming each week. Finally, don't forget, Kite's AI Autocomplete helps you code faster and smarter. It's free to use, and the link is in the description below. Happy coding.